sitting on the chair, washed up by the Mississippi, drunk. I got my junk touched by hookers. <laughs> Joe, John, and Corey uh, all had the first night at strip club. I think they all had a good time. And day two of the trip. I don't. I don't know how we're gonna top this, but I think we will. It's like walking into a different world, walking down Burma Street. So when the saints go marching in. Yeah, you walk down the street, I see a sign that says tits and whiskey, and I'm like, that's my place. Like, we went out, and it was gonna be a normal, just bar night, you know. Women dancing in the window, you see silhouettes of naked women, it's, oh, puts a shiver down your spine. There's titties in my face, <laughs> ass in my face. So, you know, we're walking around, we're drinking, drinking and thinking, drinking and thinking. We get fresh real quick. We, we dab a little water here and there, clean ourselves off. And I like, I felt like I was the guide of the Tutti Bar from experience. And, and like, you know, yeah, I had to hold their hands. I had to show them the way to the stage. You know, that, that was one thing, like, I think they could smell that I had no experience. And I mean, they went to Duggins all the time and did these funky dances, and I, I give her a dollar and she like winks at me, that's it. But I think I had more fun watching my friend Joe have a good time. He was like a kid in a candy shop. But it just turned into a good time. <laughs> she is not in there at all. <laughs> there, just dab it. Do like that, just dab it. This is stupid. <laughs> here, give it a little. Big so they know it's a G. No, it. give it, give it something over here. That looks like a G when they point down like that. You don't do that in a six. That looks like two football helmets. <laughs> Shut the f up. There's still room for America. There's so much room. <laughs> what the hell, dog? <laughs> you can't go in the car like <laughs> screw it up. You gotta put your <laughs> spring Dude, I'm gonna draw a big old. There, <laughs> right by Joe's window. We should put it <laughs> in <towards> the mouth. <laughs> Alright, right now we're walking down the street to New Orleans. We're trying to find a, a good place to have some crawfish. We got a few places in mind. So right now let's hope we don't get lost and have a good meal. Time to get some crawl dance. This is my heaven right here. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. This is a shrimp. It's kind of chewy. It's a little chewier than shrimp though. It's fried. It just tastes like fried something. Yeah, I ate one. Oh. Quick bastard. It tastes like shrimp. Not bad. <laughs> Yesterday, you know, you really found your manhood. I, I think I think the moral of the story is that, you know. You can't put a price on manhood, you know, and you, when you pay for it, it's, it's just as good. You know, everyone's on the dance floor and you know, next thing you know, uh, chick just drops. People are dying. Obviously, she's she's unconscious. You know, she's not moving. So I take my fleece and I, I wrap it around, um, make it into a pillow. We put her head underneath. I saw a dog had a dead girl on the ground at a bar. I don't know what happened. As we're doing this, you know, as we're taking care of this girl who could be dying, everyone else is just getting their bump and grind on and doing doing the nasty out on the floor. I said, ladies, let's go back to your place, and it didn't work, and I do not know why. And tonight, we all sleep on the floor of the hotel. Like, everybody else is, like, right around the bed. But AJ is right by the <laughs> door. 
Like, <laughs> if somebody takes it. <laughs> All right, this is day four. We're leaving Austin for Clovis, New Mexico. Big Boyd's waiting for us. Uh, we don't really know what to expect, but uh, Boyd's always a good guy to hang out with and talk to, so I at least expect some fun times and some, some great one line. Right now, the, the spirits are high in the car, uh, but I really think today and tomorrow are gonna be the, uh, the true test of the bandits. Good morning, fellas. How's it going? <laughs> hey, whoa, look here. Where'd you get the big dude at? <laughs> oh, these guys, they weigh 246 degrees. And then here comes the man. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of them cage wrestlers or something. <laughs> we got Vicious four one. big dudes and one little short dude. Hey, yeah. Now, you can take him a time to a fence post and bend him over. And then sit there with a light and watch that like the jackrabbit stink up on him. You can shoot the jackrabbit. <laughs> Well, you just been, what if you went back home and you had a picture of a jackrabbit pulling wool on him? <laughs> <laughs> you know where you'll be? They'll call you IBM. Little bitty Mexican. You'll be with the Mexicans riding back to Mexico. They'll have your ass over in war ass. You will never see the United States again. You talk about brown round over there. They put a, They use an auger first. They tie your ass to a fence and work you over with that all. <laughs> I look forward to that experience. <laughs> you know, and I think you're some bright young guys, but you just need to get a job. We have no idea where AJ is. I didn't know they was roofies. <laughs> <laughs>